is how we remember JonBenet Ramsey, a beautiful pageant princess who charmed everyone she met. But whatever happened to the other girls who shared the stage with John Bonet 20 years ago? These women belong to the class of John Bonet, and they still live in her shadow to this day. I remember her personality. I remember the spunk she had on stage. Thumper Gosney competed with John Bonet for the title of Little Miss Sunburst 1996. There they are, side by side. Thumper is on the left. The little one with the hula hoop is John Bonet. During breaks in the competition, they would sneak off to play together. My mom didn't see me for about 20 to 30 minutes, and she was like, What are you doing? <laughs> and I was just playing Barbies with uh, John Bonet. They were very itchy. So itchy. Brandy Veal still has her pageant paraphernalia. She performed in a dance troupe with John Bonet and took this picture with her at a Christmas party just one week before John Bonet was killed. As a kid, knowing that something horrible had happened and that you don't have an answer, that sticks in your mind. Brianne Griego and John Bonet both won the Little Miss Colorado crown. She had a just a bright light about her. She was a really nice, fun, loving kid. The women remember how John Bonet's death cast a dark cloud over the pageant world. Pageants was a big part of my life, and there was such a stigma around that that I didn't want to go there for a while. Today, Brandy works as a kindergarten teacher. Thumper is a hairstylist, and Brianne is a middle school history teacher. In fact, she loves history so much, her body is covered with history-themed tattoos. They get to learn off history from me. No, I mean, it's fun. It's a good conversation starter. The kids love it. Looking at these three women, we can't help but wonder what JonBenet's life might have been like had she lived. I actually had uh, dreams about her, that she was grown up and she was this crazy, happy girl. I think college is when I it really hit me, you know. I. I started, I went to school, and it's like, this is something she would have done. She was such a smart, fun-loving kid, like, she would have had so much fun at college. She'd be the older version of her six-year-old self. She'd be a confident girl, she'd be beautiful, and she would enjoy everything that she chose to do in life.